right, class. Sit down. Class is in session. So uh, I was scrolling through the interwebs the other day, and you know, just kind of doing my normal scrolly scroll. Look at a video and click on the next video, and then click on the next video. You know how that goes. You get deep into the bowels of the internet, stumble across this little creature, the octopus. See, I'm I'm a fan of nature. Planet Earth, that's a great series. Perfect launch and a controlled drop. This is as good a descent as it's possible to make. Great series there. You know, why don't I show this to my uh, massive audience on YouTube and you guys can also appreciate nature the same way I do. Let us begin. But well, let's just watch. He's got a bunch of crabs in jars. We'll put some crabs inside the flask. We'll force them in. But because of their size, it will be impossible for them to come out through the opening. The octopus can reach them, but won't be able to get them out. Even chimpanzees were unable to solve this problem. We now want to see how the octopus will deal with the problem. Right, let's see, Mr. Octopus. What you gonna do? This is a novel situation. It wouldn't happen in the octopus's natural habitat. I hope not. <laughs> wait, wait, let's just... <laughs> this shot, I'm sorry, but let's, let's see, just getting like a good sniff, a good feel for the jar, make sure it's there. I'm bullying an octopus. Why am I bullying an octopus? I mean, stop. The octopus has to think, but even with an open top, these crabs are definitely not going to come out. Okay. This means the problem has to be attacked from another angle. Can't grab them. If the crabs are too big to get out, why is it? Why is the, the music so dramatic? Okay, why is the music so dramatic though? Oh, guys, watch out! It's an octopus. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just get out. The octopus will just have to make himself small enough to get in. So, although he's closed up inside, Pepino doesn't seem agitated. Having solved the problem of getting into the flask, he knows he won't have any trouble getting out. The octopus has passed yet another intelligence test, the solving of a new problem and with flying colors. Okay, so that's a lesson, kids. If you're uh, like me and your hands are too big to fit down inside the Pringles jar and get that last little Pringle, put your whole body inside it because that's better. It's like, it's a lot, well, it's a live stream of marine biologists that just, like, they have a submarine and they just, like, talk over what uh, they're seeing and yada, yada, yada. I think it's pretty cool. Do we yeah. want one more zoom on the Dumbo before we do Oh, off? yes. <laughs> Might as well, right? <laughs> Might as well. We're, We're here. here. Closer. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's moving. Oh, you, you extend out. Hey, well, you, get you can closer. see his little fuckers. Oh, I'm already oh, yeah. extended. Yeah. Yeah. You know that the, um, yeah. the the so brain is wrapped Ooh. around the esophagus. What? Oh, that's wicked that's rad. so weird. I'd hide too if someone was talking about my brain being wrapped around my esophagus. Like, that's just like, kind of uncomfortable. What hey. scientists do Sorry. when we're really excited. <laughs> they ink? totally normal. Oh, no, ink. we don't ink. Oh, you guys made me eat. <laughs> that was interesting. Northern Australia has oh, I the love this guy. Oh my goodness. This is, oh, the narrator that does, or wait, is this, oh, this is probably a segment from Planet Earth. And here lives a truly extraordinary species oh, yes, of octopus. Hello. Why are you extraordinary, my friend? I bet we'll find out. Octopuses are marine animals. They live and breathe underwater. Okay. At low tide, most octopuses will be imprisoned in their rocky pools. Most. Key word. Foreshadowing. But this is no ordinary octopus. No. Please do tell. Ah. Oh, oh, the sounds. Oh, the squishy sounds. Oh, it's so moist. <laughs> uh. Also, why do people hate that word moist? I know some people, it's just that's like a trigger word. It just brings back like flashbacks of 
moist things. So slimy sounding. Oh. Sounds so slimy. <laughs> How did they get it to sound so slimy? So let's let's just review octopuses. First, they're smart. Second, they're cute. Uh, third, they can go on land. They're going to kill us. They're gonna take over the planet, and we're not gonna know because we're too focused on that little squirt inking on people because he's so cute. Forget robots and lizard people. The government, they're squids. All of them. No, I mean octopuses. They're octopuses. Hunting for crabs, it walks from pool to pool. Oh, oh, did you- Wait, let's just go back on that. Oh. Pool. Oh, it does like a little emphasized. Oh. Oh, let's do it one more time. Oh, no. Can I... Actually, that was not a bad impression of the sound. Apart from a rather startled fish. <laughs> Same. You know, this is gonna be the reaction of all the people when they actually realize the truth that our government is all a startled fi fish. That right there. That's gonna be everyone. Oh, you better run, buddy. Pool may seem like a safe you better refuge. run. But the octopus's suckers enable it to move just as stealthily in water as out of it. Mm. Oh, you're done. You're done. He's gone. Oh, again with the crunching sounds. Well, those are slimy crunching. Oh, no, that's not even like crunching sounds. It's like slimy crunching sounds. This one, this one really uh, sells my theory about how the uh, um, government can all be octopuses. The Mimic Octopus. It's Boom. a masterly quick change artist. Altering not just its shape, but even its behavior to impersonate a whole range of other creatures. Do you need more proof? Just off that narrator. It told us everything we need to know. Are you saying that this octopus can really mimic that well? Like, well, let's just, let's just find out. So it alters its shape to imitate a flounder, flattening its body and matching the color of the sand. See, see what I mean? Like, it was a squid, now it's a fish. Sorry, octopus. Legs low across the bottom, just look. like a real flounder. Like, are you telling me from a distance you couldn't tell? I'm just saying. If that octopus changed the color a little bit, I don't think I could tell. Ladies and gentlemen, that right there runs your country. Usually they hide amongst rocks or corals, and if they have to flee, they dart away behind a cloud of ink. But this mimic has another trick up its sleeve. Well, what you gonna do? It alters both shape and behavior to impersonate a fish that swims well above the bottom. A lionfish. See, okay. Lionfish fins are tipped with venom, so predators learn to avoid them. By right, okay, I get it. He's trying to look like something that's dangerous so people don't mess with him. But like... You, you could really do a better job, mate. Like... But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Fish aren't very smart. So, one, uh, our entire U.S. government is all octopuses. Two, we are all going to die via octopus. Three, uh, like and subscribe, because when the uh, Earth goes into a post-apocalyptic world, the only thing left will be my videos telling the truth about what really happened. No one else will know, but I'll have the truth. Anyway, class is, uh, class is out of session. Enjoy your life, kids. <laughs>